Ainur Tursambayeva with guests of the studio cooks dishes of Oriental cuisine. Kazakh Life, Tagam. Hello friends. As usual, we are happy to have you in our program Tagam. Today in our kitchen, we will cook a very light, delicious, unusual fish broth. Famous TV presenter, Kazakh beauty, Aysulu Respanova, who gave us this recipe, is coming to our studio today. So let's meet Aysulu. Welcome to our studio. Good day, dear Ainur. I'm very glad to see you, Aysulu. The viewers may not have forgotten that we were partners and we were on a newscast. I know well that Aysulu is a good chef and that she is very talented. So I'm really glad to see Aysulu in our program Tara. I am also glad to see you. <laughs> First of all, I will put on you the apron and then we will continue our conversation. Aysulu Rispanova, TV host. Favorite dish, rice with horse meat. Favorite drink, tea. Favorite color, brown. Favorite poet, a bacon and bife. Favorite song, a kid We do not add oil, we do not fry, mm -hmm. that is, it is a diet dish. Someone may know that our Aisulu does not eat meat at all. Yes, but sometimes I eat horse meat. Don't you eat mutton meat? No. That's why I have been in the fish for about 10 years. Really? Yes. Aren't you tired of eating only fish? I eat it rarely, not every day. Okay, then let's start cooking. I will give you gloves to wear. I'll wear them too. Now we can add onion to broth and then we will remove it. We need only one for taste. Really? For the first time I see that someone is removing onion from the broth. So we will start. Stove is hot. Firstly, we thoroughly wash the fish. Let's put it. Look at it. You can put all the fish or just put its head. Fat comes out from the head of the fish. The fish's head is tasty. Let's put the entire fish. Bring the fish, I'll put it in the pot. There shouldn't be any excess. Now we pour water. Overall, salmon cooks very fast. True, 20 minutes are enough for fish to be cooked. Let's put salt into it. We need salt. Then we will put the onion. The onion shouldn't be cut. We will just put the whole onion into the broth. I'll rinse it once. Here's the salt. We won't cut onion. Yes, we're going to use the whole onion. Now we need a potato. We won't remove the potatoes, will we? No, we won't, because it all cooks together. We will remove onion, but what about a potato? We will boil the potatoes until the end. We only remove onions. I can put salt now. I put salt by eye. I can't determine the right amount of salt using a spoon. I guess everyone does so. We need one tablespoon of salt. Mix everything. We need to reduce the heat of the oven. Now we're going to cook over lower heat. If the maximum indicator of the stove is 9, then you need to cook the fish by switching the stove to 4 or 5. I love fish. Today I heard a good tip from my solo. When a baby is born, we have a tradition to cut a sheep in honor of his birth, and a young mother is offered hot soup to recover from childbirth. Alternatively, fish soup is healthy too. It helps to stimulate breast milk and strengthen baby's bones. Yeah. 
Fish soup contains calcium. Earlier ancestors did massage to the baby using tail fat. Our mothers also did so. From ancient times, Kazakh children grew massaged with tail fat. Over the last four or five years, doctors said that we shouldn't use tail fat because it's harmful and that it raises the fever. But recently, one of my friends told me that because sellers of expensive baby oils can sold out their products, yeah. This rumor has spread. Otherwise, tail fat is harmless and absorbs cold from a child's body. Tail fat is smeared on the throat when you have a sore throat. They grease throat with tail fat and use to wrap the throat. They melted the tail fat and gave to drink it to little children. Then our mothers used to give us a piece of tail fat. Do you remember we sucked it like a nipple? <laughs> we used to give qaza to children. The girls of Janarka have grown to suck qaza, not a tail fat. Yes, we grew up eating qaza. All children were fat, chubby, healthy, cheeks are full, so we grew up like this. My friend said, the most useful thing is tail fat. And when I asked her why, she said that doctors said, tail fat is harmful, but it's all nonsense. Mm -hmm. It seems it doesn't boil. Maybe we will increase the heat. Yes, let's increase the heat a little, then close the lid. And we can already remove the foam. Mm -hmm. So we're taking the foam away, we put it in the utensil. It would be better if the strainer was smaller. It would be more convenient to use, right? Yes. And here's the soup. It started to boil. After that, we have to put all of our ingredients without turning off the stove. Potatoes, carrots, bell peppers, all together, not separately. It turns out it's very easy to cook. Yes, it is. If you cook it separately, the fish will boil. If the taste of fish is soaked into the potatoes, onions and all the vegetables, it will be delicious. Fish is a very pure product. It's obvious because it lives in water. Yes, but I don't eat raw fish. I don't eat sushi. Because sushi contains raw fish, yes. Specialists say that it's raw fish that causes the infection, worms in our liver and in our organism. And that's why I don't eat it. Before or after I have heard that fact about raw fish, after I've learned that it may cause worms in our body, so I eat only cooked fish. The soup that we're going to cook according to our recipe can be supplemented with not only salmon but also with other fish like carp and others because it contains very few calories. It's like a dietary meal, isn't it? Yes, it has very low calorie content. We can say that only potatoes contain calories here. If the potatoes are cooked, then we remove the soup from the heat. So salmon is already cooked, isn't it? Yes, it is. Salmon is cooked. I guess the first thing to be cooked is fish. Yes. Let's add some red pepper. Should we add garlic as a whole or should we cut it? I cut the garlic before adding. One piece of garlic is enough. Otherwise, it will take the taste of the fish. Everyone cuts it differently according to their wishes. I know, I forgot to wear the headscarf. It's excusable to you. It's because I'm the guest today, yes. Look at this, our soup looks great. Can you see it? Salmon is cooked too. It's so fast and easy to cook. Please give me black pepper. Of course, it's here. Is it a bay leaf? One, two, three. We add black pepper by eye. Look at this, it's a perfect meal for lunch. The smell is appetizing. 
Each time I stand in the studio and I repeat, what a pity it is that the flavors of meals cannot be transmitted through the screens. I should make the soup again when I get home. This is my favorite meal. Aisulu is the mother of three sons, and she has a husband too. It would be better to say that she is a lovely wife and a caring mother of three children. Yes. Yes, we buy a lot of pasta. Do you cook pasta a lot? I do. But my kids like fast food, burgers and french fries. I try to make them at home. I peel potatoes and cut them like french fries. Do you have a helper to help with cleaning and cooking? Of course I have. Without a helper, I couldn't come to this program. My helper looks after children and cleans home. Does she cook? Yes, she does. How often do you cook yourself? I cook often, especially on the weekends. My husband tells me that he loves dishes cooked by me. That's why I usually make his breakfast. I'll roast in a pan, pilaf, and put an egg on it. This is the best breakfast. But I do not add oil. Do you use a cooked pilaf? Yes, the one that was left from the dinner. Okay, I got it. The result is no waste, so I put a pilaf on the pan, then I add two eggs and close it with a lid. And it's so delicious. Of course it's delicious if you use pilaf and eggs, then it must be delicious. It's a good idea for breakfast. Ainur, look at the color of the soup. It looks delicious, right? Look at the color. It's a low-calorie dish. We will boil it for another five minutes. It's very easy to cook. Let's close the lid. I will take the gloves off. While the soup is cooking, share with us. Other useful tips on the kitchen. You say that you don't eat mutton or beef and a horse meat. I also love diet without meat, but to be honest, I can't stand it. I think that when you eat a lot of fish, you will get bored very fast. It seems our body is not ready for this. What else can you cook from fish? For example, now we have cooked salmon. It can then be taken and cut for salad. You can add tomatoes, cucumbers, different vegetables, such as potatoes and carrots. In general, you may use everything that is at home. And you may dress it with oil. Vegetable oil? No, not a vegetable oil, but olive oil. So if you dress the salad with olive oil, it will be superb, very nutritious. Will it be enough? Yes, you get used to that. What else we can cook from fish? You can cook different pies with fish. Then we can cook fish barmak. I cooked it several days ago. Do you mean fish barmak? Yes, we cooked it like regular fish barmak with noodles. The noodles that were cooked in this fish broth are very tasty. We invited our grandparents, they are over 80 years old. Do you use salmon? No, I took another fish, sturgeon. Is it from the west of Kazakhstan? Yes. How much time does it take to cook it? It takes half an hour. The noodles are cooked in 10-15 minutes, and the fish is cooked in 30-40 minutes. So fish barmak takes only one hour. It's different from cooking fish barmak with horse meat, because it takes two or three hours. But it doesn't taste like horse meat, right? Yes, of course. Now many people are fond of sports, and to maintain muscle tone, you need to eat white meat, not red meat, like chicken breasts. 
Yes, like chicken breasts, chicken breast, chicken soup, fish, and fish broth are easily digestible by your stomach. These are light meals. It doesn't give a feeling of heaviness in the stomach. You mentioned that you could make pies out of fish, but there you need dough also. What kind of dough could we use? I do not add yeast to the dough. The dough is made of eggs, sour cream and unsalted butter. I mix everything and add a little of boiled water. And then you need the dough, right? Yes. You need to take more eggs, about four or five, then the dough will turn yellow. Next, put the dough into the refrigerator for 40 minutes. After taking out the dough and roll it out, the pie is very tasty. Doesn't the dough be raw? No, it doesn't. Do we need to thinly roll out the dough? Yes, we do. And what about the fish inside the pie? If we take salmon, first of all, we cut it. Do we need to remove the fish bones? Of course. Secondly, we cut onions, different vegetables and dill. Then we mix them and roll into the dough and put it in the oven. It takes 30 minutes to be cooked. Do we need to fry the fish? It's up to you. If you want, you can try. But, by the way, if you fry the fish in olive oil, it will be absorbed well and it will retain all the vitamins. Of course, bowersocks fried in the fat or oil pieces of unfermented or sourdough, fried in vegetable oil, are beautiful and delicious. But if fried in olive oil, it will be a completely different taste. How close is Sulu Respanova to the sport? I'm very close to sports. I run. How many times a week do you do sports? I go swimming three times a week. Women have an opinion that to do sports you need to be rich, that you need money to become fit. If you ask them why don't you do sports, they say, oh, it requires money. Ten days before school I stopped doing sports to properly prepare my children for the school year. During these 10 years, I was very tired, but usually my husband and I run every morning in the park near the house, and I return home filled with the energy of nature. And with that energy, we get ready for every work. Also, our hearts are healthy, and there are watches which can monitor and show a heartbeat. It's wonderful to work with it. Then one day my husband said that he didn't run for four or five days, so he went running. He came back satisfied and sweating. Human organism gets adjusted. Yes, it adjusts and requires the practice. Our dish smells delicious. I guess it's ready. Yes, it is. Could you turn it off? Yes, of course. If so, we will take the soup and present how to serve the dish to guests on a large table. We will try Isolu delicious meal. Stay with us. Welcome to our guest room. Yeah. I will repeat that mm -hmm. it's a pity. It's impossible to transmit through the screen the smell of Isolu's meal. At least I believe that it can be seen from its appearance. There is a bay leaf and the smell of the fish is not spoiled. Yes, of course. We took off the onion. Yes, we did. We put it as a whole piece and when it boiled, we took it off because some people don't like the onion. And all of the ingredients inside the fish, such as carrot and potatoes, are softened. Onion won't soften. Will it? Yes, it won't. The onion was big, that's why we had to take it off. There are a lot of vitamins, as I Isolu already said. It's a delicious soup which suits well for the recently delivered guests. Thank you very much, Isulu. I think we must eat fish soup with brown bread. In Ainur's kitchen, we do not talk about only recipes of delicious dishes, but also we show and suggest how to serve the table. 
and how I salute a spana where serves her meals when guests come. How I serve the dish? The most important thing at serving the dish must be your heart. When there are guests, we need to welcome them with a smile on our faces. And don't forget to say, please have some tea. So they're happy not by your dish, but with your intention. Yes, of course, with your intention. When I was getting married, my mother said, Daughter, in the future, when you will be serving the tea, don't look unhappy. After that, I always smile and live a wonderful life. Now I live with my mother-in-law and she taught me a lot of things such as serving the dish. When we cook dish with meat such as pilav, okur dak, and beshpermak, and when it's almost cooked, my mother-in-law cuts some garlic and puts it on the dish, then closes the pot and let it to slowly cook. There is a secret. In general, the girls from Janarka are very good in the kitchen. Their dishes are delicious, bar socks are lush, and the meat is soft, we must admit it. I communicate a lot with girls from Janarka, so I notice this distinctive feature in them. Now it's the salmon head. We do not cut it into broth. We serve it separately. Because there are people who do not eat fish, but they drink nutritious fish broth. Therefore, after cooking, we separate the fish, and everyone eats it with a fork. And the head of the fish, as well as the lamb's head, are served separately. Sometimes we serve a fish head to honored guests. Do you give it to guests? Of course. Today, in a short time, we shared many recipes with fish and many other tips. Despite the fact that I'm good in the kitchen, I only fry or cook fish, and I didn't even think about eating it this way. I wonder, why I didn't think of cooking fish as Kazakh meat or making a pie out of it before? We may add fish to salads too. I like the recipe of your salad. I'll try to make it too. Do you have any other more recipes you can tell us? Mm -hmm. All right. For example, again, about the fish. We cut it and after, add four or five eggs. Then we mix it. We add some salt. We mix it. After that, for example, we have bread. And we have that mixture with fish and eggs. We put bread into the mixture and fry it. With oil. Of oil. Yes, with olive oil. And we can eat bread with fish. It's very delicious. Wow, that's great. Now we must applaud to this recipe. After the show, I will re-watch this episode and will note every recipe because right now it's hard to memorize all of them. I received a lot of new information. I'm very happy about it. You were talking about an omelette, then pilaf for breakfast and fried bread, also salad and soup. I salute. I wonder how many recipes were told only by cooking one soup. Yes. For the great recipes and sharing your time, expressing your gratitude towards us, always coming when we invite you, for your courtesy, for being the great mother of three children, we thank you. For me, real Kazakh women should be like Aisulu. I'm not just praising you, it's true. <laughs> For all the time we've known each other, I have never seen you unhappy. Occasionally, her secret was the words of her mother about serving the tea. Even when she's serving the tea or not, she's always happy. Some times ago, I gave Aisulu a name, Karligash, and I was calling her my Karligash. Yes, I remember that. Aisulu, thank you very much. Here in Ainur's kitchen doors will always be open for you, and I know that you have a lot of great information and recipes. Our viewers must learn them from you. How to be beautiful, smart, and attractive. I hope you will share it with us again. Of course, if you will invite me, I'll come. Of course, we will. In the end, dear girls, dear audience, 
By the way, one man texted to me and said, why you always say dear girls? Because usually our girls cook in our homes. It's more like a tradition. Our audience, please stay with Ainur's kitchen and see you next time.